So as I thought about that and I put my list together of the challenges that we face when doing a posterior composite, you can see here on the slide the list I came up with. Um, so I really want to talk about prep design. We're going to spend um, probably you know a good couple of minutes or more talking about that. Um, you know, and yes, we will touch on the fundamentals of prep design and what we can do and how a prep for a posterior composite really is unique compared to some of the other restorations that we do. But also talking about some of the things that we can do in preparation design um, that will really streamline our ability to place the restoration, um, improve the predictability, the longevity of our posterior composites, which truthfully in a dental practice, um, having your own dentistry last a long time and have predictability and longevity um, is one of the things I think we all strive for and it makes our days in dentistry uh, much, much more pleasant. So we're going to talk about prep design. Um, next on my list is isolation and I want to really address the, the ways in which we can control contamination. You know, composite placement, adhesive dentistry is, is really technique sensitive. And one of the biggest things that we are faced with as a challenge is managing all of the possible contaminants that are present when we place a restoration in the oral environment and look at ways that we can manage those. Next on my list is interproximal contacts. Um, and I think this one, everyone um, who's watching it is probably sort of chuckling inside and go, yeah, I interproximal contacts. Um, because of all of the things that I hear about interproximal contacts out there, um, it's always a frustration about how can I have them predictably be right. And then last on my list, which is probably right up there, sort of neck and neck with interproximal contacts for the things I hear from dentists and get questioned about the most is sensitivity. So post-op sensitivity has become a conversation that's really prevalent in dentistry.